Hey, BC James here. Been a while since the CD update, so let's update with some of the CDs that I've been buying over the past couple of months. Well, well, past month. First couple of cassettes. Pick this up at a rummage sale, White Snake, live in the heart of the city. Haven't listened to it yet, though. And this is really cheap, so I had to pick it up. Who remembers Animaniacs? This is a five song EP. Uh, taken from the full length animatic soundtrack. It's still sealed too, but I'm gonna do a sealed or revealed right here. Watch the music in the background. It's really not appropriate for Animaniacs, but what the heck. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for playing this music. And if I do, I know who to talk to about getting permission to have this music in my video. There we go. That's a short cassette. <laughs> it has the Animax theme song twice. Wacko's World, I'm Cute and I'm Mad. Alright. First of the country. Montgomery Gentry's Greatest Hits. That's five bucks. Brand new. I do like a few other songs like My Town. Hell yeah. Uh, she couldn't change me, I really liked. The Legend of Johnny Cash, another $5 CD from Walmart. Like Montgomery Gentry. The reason I wanted this one, a lot of good classics, plus the Rusty Cajun Hurt cover that he did. And I have two soundtracks here. This one came with a broken case, but it was brand new when I bought it off of eBay. Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, with Vanilla Ice's Ninja, Ninja Rap, yes. Actually, the first soundtrack is way better than the second movie soundtrack. And because I loved the movie, I picked up the Star Wars The Force Awakens soundtrack. Just instrumental, John Williams, awesome music though. Compilation here from... I don't even know what year this sucker from. 1999. Give them the boot. Hellcat Records presents Give them the Boot too. Tiger Armies, on here Dropkick Murphys, Rancid's got two songs on here for some reason. Nocturnal, uh, The Cadets, The Distillers, Hepcats. A lot of punk and rockabilly on here. Or psychabilly stuff, so really cool compilation. <laughs> we got Aerosmith Toys in the Attic, a $5 Walmart purchase. This is the original album here. The red disc there. Twisted Sisters Stay Hungry, this is the original release. Well, the, one, the only used place to buy CDs in this town now. Had it for like a $1.99, so I couldn't pass it out. Uh, this is really cheap too at the used place. Metallica's Beyond Magnetic, the four song EP that came out after Death Magnetic. But it was actually a really good album. Now we're coming down to the wire. Here we got Megadeth Concert Extinction Live. This actually turned out to be a really good live concert CD. This was really cool. And plus, Concert Extinction is like my favorite album by Megadeth. So. But it also starts out with. Starts out with three songs and ends with three songs. I'm not on. Uh, Count on Extinction, obviously. Trust, Hangar 18, Public Enemy. She Wolf, Peace Sells, and Holy Wars, The Punishment Due. Actually, Trust sounds very familiar, but I don't know what album Trust is off. Somebody can tell me what album Trust is off. Then I did pick up this at Target Dystopia, the new Megadeth album. And it was uh, on sale for $11.99, and it came with a cold to get the free vinyl sent to your house. I'm still waiting on that. Anybody's ever bought one of those CDs that plus vinyl from Target? Can you let me know how long it takes to get the vinyl? Because this has been almost a month and I still haven't gotten the vinyl. I, mean, I don't know. I threw the code away because I used it. Oh, I didn't throw the code away. Maybe I can go to the website and track it. Yeah, this was wrapped around it. 
exclusive vinyl. But yeah, so I'm still waiting on this. Which kind of sucks, but where the hell is it? And finally, what's playing in the background is... Like I said, if I get in trouble for having this on a video... I'm asking you, Scott Waters, if I can have this in my video. Because this is in the background, which you probably recognized already if you're an Ultimatum fan, or you're Scott Waters, because you were in the band. But yeah, I picked this up at the Lighthouse Christian Bookstore. I was there one day, about a month ago. I was in the neighborhood, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop in there for the heck of it. Because actually, I kind of want to get Petra on fire again. Because I used to love that album for some reason. But I want to hear it again. They didn't have it. Now they had was like a 20th century best of for Petra. But then I was like, oh, let's go look at the use for the hell of it. And lo and behold, this is the only album they had, so I grabbed it into the pit. By the way, Scott, awesome album. I think better than... What one did I have of yours already? Well, holy crap. You send it to me. There it is. Puppet of Destruction. Puppet of Destruction, good album. This one, I think, is even better. Of course, this is a little bit later in life, so... Alright, so that is my CD update. Let's picture Scott Waters there singing. But because I like both the albums, I gotta hunt down the rest of your stuff, Scott. Alright. I will let you guys go. I'll talk to you later. I do have vinyl to make a video for. I was waiting to make the video until I got to stop you, but I don't know if that's ever coming, so... Give a couple more weeks. If it still isn't here, screw it. I'll make the final update video. Alright, see you all guys later, and peace.